All right, that is uh, music from Jeffrey Suttles, very talented drummer, played with uh, The Time and uh, his own projects. He played with Tina Marie as well. Uh, time to settle down, Jeffrey Suttles, and uh, that is Jeffrey. 638 Joe Kelly here with The Upper Room, our phone line's 203-254-4111. And uh, we've got a very talented musician. He's got a young baby face. He's still he's holding strong, but uh, he's a seasoned musician for uh, over 30 years, the pride of uh, Ridgefield, Connecticut, Burnsville, Minnesota, and uh, now makes his home up in Durham. But uh, we welcome to WVUF in the Up Room with Joe Kelly here at, in Fairfield, Connecticut, Mr. Tim Webster. How you doing, Tim? Doing well. How you doing, Joe? Yeah, great to see you. You and, too. Uh, it's been a few years, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah but. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll disclose to our audience, he's my cousin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Tim Webster. That's not why you came on the show. I, I like your music and, and, and you're very talented. But Thanks, Joe. Yeah. So so um, what's what's been going on yourself musically? Musically, doing a lot of uh, writing and recording at home and okay. uh, playing out around town. And uh, this this Friday coming up, we're playing down at Nikki's Bar and Grill in Stratford. So oh, okay. anybody that wants to come out and see us. Uh, so so um, you, you mention us. Who, who's um, Kimberly uh, Bond and okay. myself? Yeah. Oh, okay. She, yeah, she's from Trumbull. So. Is that the first time you play there? Or you play yeah, it's our first time in that that place. So all acoustic uh, that night. So so uh, for for our listeners who want to go out and see a great night of music, what what's the uh, do you remember the street address? And yeah, it's right on uh, Main Street by the the, stri- the train station. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Nikki Bonds. Uh, Nikki Nikki's Bar and Grill. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, they've got, they've got something. And if you don't want to drive, hop on the train and drop you right off there. Exactly. So, yeah. yep. So that's what's going on lately. Um, otherwise, just kind of playing with different people and having fun, you know? Yeah. Tim Tim's here and uh, Tim's website, eastofcleveland.net. And uh, we're going to play some of the music that uh, Tim has uh, created. And let, let me ask you this. you got a home studio Mm-hmm. And recording, and you, you're a multi instrumentalist. Yep. W- what uh, writing songs? Do you have a particular instrument? Yeah, guitar? usually, uh, yeah, guitar, guitar, okay, and right. uh, kind of build around it. And um, you know, it's computer aided production. You know, the drums are always kind of loops and things like that. Right. But uh, you know, everything else is real. Yeah, but uh, you know, a lot of it sounds. The drums sound pretty good too. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, it doesn't sound sounds real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so playing through a, a MIDI controller, that kind of thing. So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's see. We're going to let our listeners get a taste of Tim Webster and uh, some great live music. We bring musicians here all the time. And, and wh- what are you going to play? I'm going to play a song called Sweep It Up. Oh, Sweep It Up. Yeah, okay. it's a little uh, funky number. All so right. Tim blues. Webster is here, and uh, he's going to give us some music right now. Tim Webster here on WVOF. And there you go. Sweep It Up. Sweep it up. Tim Webster, no Memorex there. That's real live. Great musicianship, great vocals. Man. Hey, thanks. I, you know, I'm not putting anybody else down in the family, but I think you're at the top of the list right there with a plane like that. Hey, thanks. Yeah, right. Um, let me ask you, you come from a family of n- total nine nine uh, yeah. boys and girls in the family. N- nine that we know about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I said that. I said, well... I'll tell you off air. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, nine that you know about, and um, you uh, you threw me for a loop there. <laughs> no, uh, but actually, you know, you're the oldest in the family yep. uh, of the siblings. Um, what was your musical upbringing? I mean, what was it like in the household? Uh, listening to music. It was just uh, for me listening to music. I grew up on classic rock, you know, album rock in the seventies. Right. So, you know, listening to the radio and all the classic stuff, so I'm very influenced from that. Right. You know, so Zeppelin, Aerosmith, right. all that kind of stuff. I-95? Um, you listen to them? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, PLR was big then. Yeah, PLR, yeah. yep. Right. Yep. yep. So so how about the first guitar? First guitar at 14. I remember, okay. you know, I, was, I always dreamed of getting an electric guitar when I was a young kid. And right. Finally, my mom and dad got me an acoustic mm-hmm. and uh, took t- right to it. And I uh, never put it down since. So, did you uh, form bands in high school? Yeah, yeah, yeah yep. So, what were, what were those bands like? Oh, it was uh, it's always good fun, you know, messing around. So, the first band I played in was uh, Endless. That was the name of the band. Okay. And uh, yeah, we had good time playing, you know, playing out and par- parties and all that kind of stuff. So, 
Pride of Ridgefield High, right? Pride yeah. of Ridgefield that's High. A, that's a nice nice town. Yeah. yeah. Fast yeah. times at Ridgefield High. <laughs> there you go. Right? <laughs> that was my nickname in college, Spicoli. Oh, Spicoli, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that, I still watch that movie when, yeah. it, when it comes on. So, yeah. Yeah. Great, great stuff there. Tim Webster is with us here at WVOF. And uh, let's see. I'm on eastofcleveland.net, which is, is your band's website and, yep. and your website. We're going to play something from there. I don't want to duplicate if you're going to play it live, but let me ask you first about East of Cleveland, the mm-hmm. meaning behind that. Oh, yeah, sure. So, first of all, it's the truth, right? We're in Connecticut. Right. Here yeah. we are. Yeah. That's East right. of Cleveland. Yeah. That's where all the good music is. Right. East of Cleveland. Right. You, you go around the globe, it you know, catches all the West Coast, too. So, right. that's where my dad's from. Okay. He's from yeah. Cleveland and home of rock and roll. So, yeah. So, there you go. Ha- have you been out to the Hall of Fame yet? No, I have not. Right. You know, I've, many times I've been out there. I've never been to the Hall of Fame. Right. Yeah. That That's all, definitely. I haven't been, but I'm sure yeah. we both would love something like that. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. So, eastofcleveland.net. Um, how about, can I play Qua- Cryer? Yeah, play Cryer. That's okay, I'm going to play Cryer right now from Tim Webster. He's here live at WVOF, and our phone line's 203 254 and uh, this is from Tim Webster, eastofcleveland.net. It's called Cryer, right here. All right, that is, of course, East of Cleveland with Tim Webster. Tim is here live in the studio. So, uh, you know, how, how about memories coming back to Fairfield, Fairfield University? What, 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 what do you have in, you know, I know you used to come here as, yeah. as, as a young kid. and Yeah, and uh, Jennings Beach. I remember uh, in Grandma and Grandpa's house. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that was a... Wow, if they if they were still alive and had that house, they could have sold it for a good penny right now. Yeah, they, Fairfield's crazy prices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty crazy with uh, Sandy coming through the rebuilding all of those houses yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, they just level them and just yeah. build these monstrosities on homes. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So um, you mentioned getting into music back in high school, and uh, how about now? You you play at uh, various spots around Connecticut, right? Yeah. Um, right now, kind of slow. Um, so my goal this year is to get out there, play right. more. You yeah. Know? So it's, that was my New Year's resolution: get out there and play more. So. Oh yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> like every musician, right? Yeah. Now, how about in uh, Connecticut? What, what do you see needs to improve for for working musicians? Things that could make it easier for you guys? Um, just more clubs that want live music. I think you mm-hmm. know. I think uh, you know, like. 10, 15 years ago, the scene kind of died down quite a bit. Right. You know, I used to play out a lot every weekend, you know. Yeah. And I don't know what's changed. Maybe, you know, it's just not people going out as much anymore or club owners just don't see the economics. But um, it's definitely yeah. changed past 10, 15 years for sure. And this Friday you'll be at? Uh, Nikki's Bar and Grill. Bar and Grill, yeah. Main Street by the train station in Stratford. What, yeah. What's the approximate uh, showtime? Uh, we're playing two sets. I think uh, it starts at 7 and goes to 1. I think we're playing 8 o'clock and 11, I think, is our slot. Okay. Yeah, there's uh, three acts that night, so you get a variety of uh, different music that night. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it'll be a night, nice night there. And yeah. I think closing times are 1 o'clock or in I don't know. If yeah, two yeah. o'clock. Yeah. Oh, okay. Two yeah, o'clock. So, yeah. Yep. Or two. I I don't know exactly, right. but yeah. Right by the train station, you can jump off and uh, go see Tim Webster in concert. He's here live in the studio at uh, eight minutes before seven. We're here till eight o'clock. So, uh, do you want to perform something else? Sure, we well, can do that. What's going on here? Uh this could be a new song. Okay. Uh it's in the process of being recorded now. It's kind of a goofy song, but it's hey. called Hey, it's called Sweet Potato, a little uh That's what I had for lunch, a little sweet potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> a little uh little straight ahead rock and roll. Okay. And now performance Tim Webster is Thank in the much. house right there, Sweet Potato. And uh you could tell he can play that guitar and sing. And uh y- you go let me ask you going into a concert, roughly how many songs you have to have yeah, in, in your head ready to go. Ready to go, you gotta have uh 40, 50, uh, t- you know, to have backups and all that. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, yeah. You, you're definitely well prepared. Yeah. yeah. So, I usually have the iPad in front of me, you know, for right. cheat sheets, notes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I know, uh, I know one of your most influential guitarists, but I'm going to ask you, um, growing up with the guitar, I'm sure you kind of try to emulate or you listen to uh, certain musicians. Who, who are some of them? Uh, yeah, so Jimmy Page. Yeah, there you go, right? <laughs> and I, you know, I remember hearing Van Halen for the first time on the radio. Eddie Van Halen, you know, uh-huh, right? Very influential. Um, Jeff Beck, love Jeff Beck. Yeah, yeah. Right. 
And those those are my my three tops right there. So I heard Van Halen got together with David Lee Roth just yeah. the other day, right? Yeah, actually, I um, I saw them back in 2007 with David oh. Lee. Oh, okay. Pretty good show. They and still had it. Yeah. Yeah, and they're coming around this summer. Uh, it'd be cool if Michael Anthony was playing with him, but I guess yeah. What's the deal over there? I like, guess there's some animosity. Yeah, going on. yeah. Yeah, I used to like him a lot. Yeah, yeah. So so, so they have uh, Eddie's son playing bass, right? Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good musician. Right. Yeah. So. Yep. So, so yeah. So uh, you can't get that Led Zeppelin reunion. I heard. I don't know if it's true, but I heard Richard Branson from Virgin offered. A lot of money. Did yeah. you hear the same story? I heard that. Somebody and then, was telling me that. Yeah, yeah, and Robert Plant denied it for whatever reason. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, so, yeah, I guess uh, Jimmy's saying he's going to tour sometime soon. He's doing an album and all oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'd be cool. I yeah. guess you can go see him. Yeah, yeah, you're working into your schedule. I'll work <laughs> yeah. it into my schedule. That's right. For sure, yeah. Um, you know, we mentioned about size of families and everything. Other than yourself, do you have uh, musicians in the family? Uh, let's see. I think Kevin's learning to play a little guitar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and that's that's all I know about. I think there's a lot of karaoke singers out there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's got the best voice of the girls? I I think Mary and Katie who are listening maybe tonight. Okay, so what's up <laughs> to Mary and Katie? I I see them. Uh, you know, you know one thing, your family. Uh, I, I mean, my some of my family members stay in shape. I mean, my brother Tim, but your family, I'm amazed. You guys are always fit. It's like. What's the secret? I know you played sports and everything, but... I think everybody's really competitive. (laughs) Oh, okay, that's it, right? Yeah, everybody's into soccer and, uh, you know... Right. I I know Mary and Katie run, and, Mm -hmm. yeah, they they, they win trophies. They do, (laughs) exactly. Yeah, Yeah, so it's a competition, right? Yeah. Yeah. Your mom and dad, were they athletes? Um, I don't really think so. Oh, okay. I'm not really an athlete either, but I run every day, so... Oh, oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, where, where do you run out in Durham? Yeah, out in Durham. Just right. run around the neighborhood and yeah, try to stay. Get fit. the heart going, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, your dad. I, I think I told you before. I played football against your dad. Oh yeah. And and this is a true story. I don't know if anybody can verify it, but when we were playing in our grandparents' backyard around Thanksgiving or something, I remember that day. He, yeah, he yeah. came up lame and he actually had a broken ankle. Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh wow. okay, yeah. right. But I don't think he got it checked out till a day after or something like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. wow. Yeah. Tim Webster Sr., right? Tim Webster Sr. Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. guy. Yep. And uh, Tim Webster Jr., right? Yep. Is here at uh, 7 o'clock at WBOF. Let's see. East of Cleveland. We got to play some more from East of Cleveland. Give you a breather. Yeah. Playing live. Um, I'm looking at, you know, you do some great covers too on here, right? Yeah. But, um, I think I'm going to play a song right now, and we, and we played this on, on one of our shows. Um, just find it right now. Day at the Fair. Okay. I'm going to play Day at the Fair. That's okay? Yeah, it's not All right. good. So this is uh, from Tim Webster's eastofcleveland.net. Check him out this Friday in Stratford, Connecticut. And uh, you'll be from, who, who's the lady? Uh, Kimberly Bond. Okay. And we're, we're TKO Americana. Oh, okay. TKO yeah. Americana. Yeah. They'll be there. Three sets, great, great music. This is Day at the Fair, Mr. Tim Webster. All right, Tim Webster right there with uh, a Day at the Fair. And, of course, uh, he was mentioned uh, off-air about recording uh, new versions of different tracks and everything like that. What, what's it like, you know, in the studio alone and uh, as opposed to when you get some buddies in the studio recording? It's doing it all on your own. It's like uh, kind of an awkward kind of performance. Right. You know, you're trying to engineer the whole thing, like placement and all that. And right. It's hard to relax. So a lot of the, I don't know, I think they all sound stiff when I come out with them. And, you know, I, nothing beats playing live with a bunch of musicians, you know. Yeah, right. Just uh, sounds so much better. I, I've had some musicians come in and it was like a trio. And I was like, do you want to do a sound check? And the guy's like, just turn on the mic. <laughs> yeah. Some musicians go the other way. We, we, I'll tell you quickly, we had a band in the production studio and, we, and we're doing a performance. And uh, this guy wanted to do like eight takes. It was a pre recorded show. Finally, the keyboard player says, You can do an eighth take, but I'm going outside and I'm not playing on this song. So there was that friction, you know, yeah, yeah. Getting, getting the right balance. So, yep. Yeah, are are you keeping up on technology? Do you like to? Yeah, I, I, you were I, asking about the mics in here. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't have any kind of answer. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, Heil mics, whatever they are. I have. I don't know much about them, but right. So yeah, I, um, I have a museum of uh, 
out obsolete technology from 1990s, you know, started on the four track. And, right. you know, right now you can record 24 tracks in your iPhone. So it's like amazing wow. how, how technology's changed over the years. Yeah. So. Yeah. They, they've got, um, what's the big, f- the industry convention out in Anaheim, California every year? Um, there's the AES convention, or you're thinking of the... Uh, what is it there's another one yeah nam i think it's yeah nam yeah i always see i always see pictures of people and endorsements and stuff like that yeah yeah do you do you get out a lot to see concerts yourself i try to you know get out and see local bands and at least that and then uh, a couple concerts a year right saw jeff beck last uh (coughs) summer at mohegan that was awesome his bassist uh ronda smith has been on our show a couple times Oh, really the the girl yeah she used to play in prince's band so that's how we you know came in contact with her and then yeah i mean going with jeff back in prince that, that's yeah she's in good company she's from montreal too so that's where my wife's from so, oh interesting yeah, wow so. a small I'm world sh- yeah i'm sure a great show right jeff yeah back? it was an awesome show yeah 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 um we're gonna let's see we're, we're gonna get can i play a cover version of one of your songs yeah go ahead i'm a big james brown fan so uh let's see we're gonna play something with the east brown street horns Wh- who are those guys oh that was uh, an old project back in um early 2000s okay and that was the name of the guy's street east brown street oh okay and we had right. a four-piece horn section and we did all r&b and right it was a good time and this is one of the demo uh tracks we did um we actually had a different vocalist at the time oh okay but right. i i dubbed my own vocals on it on it so, okay yeah so uh this is uh from one of the rocky movies this was the theme i think living in america i i'm I, I met James Brown. You did? Yeah. Holy cow. What was it? And, you know, I wasn't appreciative. It was, I used to work at WNAB in Bridgeport. This was back in 83, I think. And um, the guy who usually had the, the R&B show at night, I was filling in for him because he was emceeing. It was Wilson Pickin and James Brown. Mm-hmm. So after the show, they did sh- two shows at Stratford Shakespeare Theater. I went in between the first and second show went down to his dressing room he had his hair up in curlers oh wow and shook my hand and says god bless you son and i met wilson pickett but back then i didn't really appreciate who these legends were wow <laughs> now I, i'm like wow <laughs> another good movie a couple good movies to see i saw the uh right. muscle shoals have you seen that movie i've heard of it i haven't seen it. that's really great gotta, gotta check that out i just watched it um it's about you know it's a studio in alabama that oh, okay, has all right. these famous people that came out of there it's just oh, wow. amazing yeah. yeah i'm sure i can get it on dvr or on demand yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna listen to it right now. Tim Webster, the East Brown Street Horns, Horns, James Brown, living in America. We'll come back and speak more with Tim. All right, live music. Uh, Tim Webster's here. Gonna play a little bit. Uh, we've got. Uh, we're going over his website, eastofcleveland.net. Tim Webster, and uh, you've been playing since uh, fourteen years old, right? At least guitar. I've been playing other instruments too before. What would you play? Uh, I played uh, drum pad. Yeah, I, <laughs> everybody. That's right. Uh, started on the baritone horn. Oh, really? Okay. And, and yeah. then uh, went to trombone, and then I had a period I played alto sax for about ten, fifteen years in there. Wow. So you yeah. could still pick it up and I, make I, sense with it. Uh, sort of. I, I don't probably have the same chops, but oh, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, right. I could probably figure it out. Yeah. Very talented guy. And what, what do you got coming up next? Uh, let's see. We'll do uh, a song called My Highway. All right. Tim Webster doing great there, performing live. One of the few musicians who's coming here and said, where's the reverb on the microphone? You haven't asked that, so. <laughs> no, I was yeah. gonna, that was my next question. Oh, okay. That was, a, yeah. So, <laughs> come on. Wake up, engineer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, sounding great. And uh, do you ever go through those spells where it's tough to write a, anything oh, resembling always. a song? Yeah, always. Yeah. It's always that case. But right. once in a while, you, you like uh, you come up with a good an idea, and it writes itself in like a day. Oh, so, okay, that quick. Yeah, right. but most of the time, it's a struggle. You kind of go through different ideas, and it takes a while to come up with something that's good to work with, you know. But um, so that what, what's it like? You know, this is a non-musician asking this question. What's it like going from acoustic to electric, and, and what, what do you have to do to um, Anything differently? Well, you know, acoustic, acoustic, you got to get more creative in making it sound, uh, you know, fuller, you know, because it, it, when you're playing solo anyways, but it's, um, you know, you don't have the same kind of sustain or you can't hide behind the distorted guitar, if you will. Oh, okay, yeah. And electric, it's just full out, you know, just 
you know, you, you got you, it's a different um, approach to the way you're playing it, right? You know, so we, we we've got to say hello to uh, a few people. We got to say hello to your sister Katie. All right, Mary, Katie. Right. Okay, I'll let you know. Katie uh, says, "Woohoo, go Tim West- Webster, you rock." So uh-huh, you got thanks, the support Katie. Uh, of uh, your sisters, my cousins, and uh, yeah, nine nine siblings in the house. I grew up with five in the house, and when we when we grew up, there was one bathroom in you know, Cape Cod. That that was that was the worst part of it, you know, until we got a bigger house. But what was it like growing with? You had four more added in the mix. Oh God, <laughs> where do we start? We right. could like have a whole show on that. Right. Yeah. Growing up here, uh, well, we all had our, our shower slots in the morning, and if you missed your shower slot, right, you were, it, the water would eventually run out, uh-huh. and you got a cold <laughs> shower. So, right, that was so. A, so, as being the oldest, did you have to get in first, or you had to wait your turn? Well, I usually got up earlier because I was, uh, you know, I had to get out the door sooner. But okay, yeah, yeah. and you were the first one to get your license. Um, I think so, yeah. Yeah, so yep. six girls, three boys, right? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, it's crazy. I, I didn't have any sisters. Yeah, I, all your family are real, really nice, but what was it like having six sisters? Um, it, it was a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think, in retrospect, it was more fun. Yeah. Probably at the time, it was <laughs> <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty crazy. Oh, my God. Right. So. Well, yeah. And, and uh, you know, your mom's doing great. Yeah, she's doing awesome. Yeah, yep. so. Um, we got to say hello to Aunt Jane oh, out there. She, oh, she's out there too? I hope so. She, yeah. Yeah. Well, sh- she'll definitely hear a copy of this. Yeah. 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 If, she, if she's not listening right now, we'll get Aunt Jane a copy and let, let her rock out to her son, Tim Webster. Yeah. We're going to, you know, I'm, I haven't heard the song, but I'm, I'm intrigued by the, the title, Claude Monet. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah uh, what's that about? Uh, it's basically kind of um, my ignorance towards the visual arts, okay, if you will, because right. I'm a musician. I'm not really a visual guy. But remember back in the 80s, they had those huge Claude Monet posters, yeah, uh, yeah. the prints, and they had the huge lettering Claude Monet on it. So right. it's kind of inspired by that. Okay. It's a very 80s-esque kind of, kind of tune. So Okay, yeah. So we're going to play it right now. This sure. is uh, Tim Webster. You can go to his website, eastofcleveland.net. Friday at Nick's Bar and Grill, Main Street, Stratford, downtown. Three sets and uh, TKO America, right? Yeah, Americana. Yep. Americana, okay. Yep. So uh, this is Tim Webster's East of Cleveland with Claude Monet right here on The Upper Room with Joe Kelly and WV. All right, we're back. We're talking about very uh, optimistic things. Exactly, <laughs> very optimistic. Yeah, a- as we get older, the ailments arise, hernias, cancer tumors, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so. Life. Yeah, life, and but everybody's doing well, and uh, Tim Webster is here, 725 here. We've got another 35 to go, and uh, if you just tuned in and saying, I missed out on the earlier portion of Tim Webster's performance, we're going to be airing it, uh, put it up for archives at upperroomwithjoekelly.com so they can listen whenever they want. Exactly. As long as I keep paying the bills for the website, they can exactly. listen. At, at, exactly. Yeah. So um, you want to play live? Sure, we can okay. do that. I'll do, I'm going to do a Steve Miller tune. Okay. But cool. I'll, I'll, I'll kind of get into it with the last song we just heard. Were you into Steve Miller w- in high school? Uh, uh, yeah, a little yeah. bit, yeah. yeah. He's classic. All right. Tim, Tim. Yeah, Tim Webster keeps coming with that great music, great lyrics, a little humor as well. A little humor. A lot of humor in that one. A lot yeah. of humor, yeah. So aisle three and aisle four, that's where you have to go? It's that guy. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Uh, written up in Vermont and... Uh, you, yeah, your mom was down in Florida, right? With yeah. Katie, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so nice to see them last summer. Um, see them always. Yeah. Exactly. The big family, the old Carlin Drive days, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Maybe you and I are the only ones who remember. Them. Well, uh, my some of my brothers. Yeah. Or Ellen probably remembers going over there. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So Ellen's still in town. Around. Ellen is up in New Hampshire. Oh, New Hampshire. Yeah. Guess she's not in town, but she used to live around here, right? Yeah. She yeah. she was in Fairfield for a while. Right. Yeah. Uh, the, my special guest tonight, Tim Webster, is here, my cousin, and uh, he's a great musician. Started out in, uh, now, you didn't start out in, in Burnsville, Minnesota, but started in Richfield, right? Actually, we uh, started in, uh, well, the family tree yeah. go- goes from Syracuse to Rochester to right. Newtown. Oh, yeah, I remember Newtown. And yeah. then went out to Minnesota and then right. back to Ridgefield. That was the American Can Days, right? The American Can yeah. Days, yep. So, yep. so how about Burnsville? I I saw something. You posted some pictures, right? 
Oh, the um, old neighborhood? That was, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. 2512 Parkway Place. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, do you get back to Ridgefield at all? Yeah, yeah. We go see, we see Christy every uh, couple times a year. So, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, so uh, the big show coming up Friday. Friday night. Yes, yeah. so. So, the Americana? Yeah. Coming up Friday. Friday night. Yes, yeah. so. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's yeah. gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's yeah. gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's yeah. gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's yeah. gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah, coming up Friday. Friday night. That's gonna be uh. So the Americana, yeah up friday friday night that's yeah. gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's yeah. gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's yeah. gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's yeah. gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's yeah. gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's gonna be uh so the americana yeah coming up friday friday night that's gonna be uh tko americana yeah nick's bar and grill yeah yeah, Nikki's Bar and Grill. Yeah. Right. How, how did you co- become affiliated with, uh, first of all, the lady who you're performing with? Yep, Kimberly Bond. Okay. Y- yep. W- uh, how would you guys collaborate? Uh, basically, we met like 10, 12 years ago. Okay. Uh, a friend referred me to her project, and right. uh, we've just been playing ever since. Right. A lot of cool gigs along the way. So, You can uh, check out a lot of the music we play tonight, eastofcleveland.net. We're going to... Uh, get into another song from from your collection right here um let's see how about my highway yeah that's the one we just played live but oh okay no we're gonna go with uh walk to town yeah that's yeah. a good one yeah tim webster here walk to town and uh east of cleveland dot all right we are back here tim webster's here we've got about 10 minutes to go in the program and uh yeah i want to thank you for coming by yeah thanks for having yeah, me yeah you you, you got to come by we got we got to make the box set of Tim Webster studio appearances. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is a good good uh, offering right now. And uh, we, you mentioned your Jimmy Page influence and everything like that. And um, when when you go tackle one of his songs, what, what's the mindset in there? Do you try to? Ch- you, know, you, you mentioned a little different on there. Yeah, I have to change the key to to sing Robert Plant stuff. So I usually uh, bring it down an octave or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. And. Uh, you know, I try to do something different with it, you right. know, so it's not like I'm just doing a cover. So okay, um, right. that one there is an example. Okay. But I, I try to play the solo as he would play it, so I played it like he did it, but with a slide. So it was Were you able to see Led Zeppelin growing up? No. no. Oh, okay. I, I was, that's on my to-do list. Oh, uh, yeah. I, if they ever come around, ever. Right, yeah. <laughs> they got to get together, Robert Plant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, let's see... Um, I think uh, John Bonham's son's playing drums. No, no, Ringo's son's playing with the Who, right? Um, yeah, I think Ringo. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Right. and then Jason Bonham has his own Zep show too. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How about uh, going to shows uh, growing up? When you were able to go to, did you, did you go to Toad's Place a bunch of times? Um, never been to Toad's Place when I was growing up. Okay. Um, yeah. Played Toad's Place a few times. Um, growing up, I saw like Aerosmith. Yes, you know oh, all those. Wow. Back yeah. in the day, you know. Wow. New Haven Coliseum? Or yep, New Haven yeah. Coliseum. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah, that was my first show, Stevie Wonder there. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, with the the garage and yeah. the parking garage. Yep, yeah. yep. I, I'm, I, I've heard some stories about Steven Tyler back back in those days. Oh, God, yeah. There was one Springfield, Massachusetts. They, I guess he was partying in Long Island at some mansion, totally out of his mind. And like, you got a show tonight. <laughs> So they rushed him over, and he got on stage and knocked it out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him in the back in the saddle tour w- after he had his, uh, re- you know, when they were really down. Oh, okay, right. He supposedly was clean at that point, but not really. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Like a lot of people yeah. out there, that's a th- it's a tough business to be around. I mean, I've yeah. seen some backstage. I'm just amazed so many musicians could get on stage to yeah, function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So uh, hey, we're gonna get into. Um, did you want to play something or you want me to play something off of here? Um, I could play something off Yeah, of we could play yeah. something off of there. Okay, we're going to play something from eastofcleveland.net, and we'll come back and speak one final time with Tim Webster. We're having a great time. And uh, let's see, I'm going to uh, hmm, Only Family in Town. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. What, what's going on in, in this particular song? Oh, it's just uh, kind of a feel-good song, kind of inspired around Thanksgiving. Okay. So we'll talk about the Webster Thanksgivings after this. This there is uh, Tim Webster on W. All right. That, of course, is Tim's Web Tim Webster, bridesmaid, and uh, man, I got to thank you for coming by. Yeah, the studio. thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, and, and we got to make it. You know, less than eight years before the next appearance. There you go. Yeah, you've been working uh, on another project, which is Dirty, Dirty Eddie. There you presents go. Carlin Drive. There you go. A work in progress, right? Exactly. We're try trying to figure out Grandpa Kelly giving you the moniker Dirty Eddie. I know. <laughs> What's going on with there? I don't know. We all had nicknames for my grandpa, and mine was Dirty Eddie. Yeah. Maybe maybe your mom can, can lend some uh, inside track to that. You think yeah. She, knows, well, she probably has some background in it, right. so we'll have to. Lady Ruffles, Lady Falstat. Yeah, my That's sisters. Right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Got a few na uh, nicknames from my grandpa, William Kelly, there. Yeah. yeah. But he had a, do you remember he had a piano there? He did. I remember, yeah. I remember he used to play that by ear, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Did, and he used to throw his change on the floor. Yeah, yeah. So you have whatever you want, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, great memories and uh, more memories to come. Tim Webster, eastofcleveland.net. Uh, big concert coming up, TKO Americana at Nikki's Bar and Grill. And uh, w once again, the showtime for that. It's uh, Friday, April 17th. This is coming Friday, uh, 7 o'clock. We uh, are playing, I believe, at 8 and 11. Okay. Yeah. Three sets. Uh, two sets, and then there's a couple other bands playing, too. Oh, okay. So it's going to yeah. be a night of great music, and yeah. uh, you can go to eastofcleveland.net. Lots of great music up there, and uh, you find out where Tim Webster's going to be in concert. Uh, go support Tim Webster. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. God, thank you for coming by. Yeah, glad to be here. And uh, we're going to actually, uh, actually, we got Sports Edge coming up. On top of the hour, we'll bid you do. We'll be back next week. In the meantime, you can come to Upper Room with JoeKelly.com. We'll have Tim Webster's interview and performance loaded up there. You can uh, listen to it uh, at your leisure. So thanks, Tim. <laughs>